Hi guys, we are discussing inhalatory anesthetics and one of them represent isoflurane. We will discuss properties, uptake distribution, metabolism, side effects and even dosage. So isoflurane is uh, one chloro trifluoroethyl or difluoromethyl ether. It is an isomer of N fluorane and was synthesized in uh, 1965. Isomer mean that uh, they, are, they are chemically on the same structure and arrangement of the derivatives are on the right or on the left side. So clinical studies were undertaken in mil 1917 but because of yearly laboratory reports of carcinogenesis, it was not approved by FDA or uh, Food and Drug Association in USA. So physical properties, isoflurane is a colorless uh, volatile liquid with a slightly pungent odor. It is not used on induction, and but is, is good on uh, maintaining anesthesia. It is stable and does not react with metals or other substances. It does not require preservatives and isoflurane is non-flammable in clinical uh, concentrations. The minimal, minimum alveolar concentration of isoflurane is 1.15% in oxygen and 0.56 in 70% of nitrous oxide. How about uptake and distribution? Isoflurane has the low blood gas solubility of 1.4 and thus alveolar concentrations equilibrate fairly rapidly with inspired concentration. So the alveolar or arterial par partial pressure of isoflurane increases to 50% uh, of inspired partial pressure within 4 to 8 minutes. However, the rate of induction is limited by the pungency of the vapor and in clinical practice, it may be no faster than that achieved with halasan, for example. So the incidence of coughing or breath holding on induction is significantly greater with isoflurane than with halasan, that is uh, pleasant or uh, neutral. The rate of recovery is slower than that associated with desflurane or or uh, sevoflurane. Let's move on next slide. We will talk about metabolism and we'll try to explain every system side effects. So metabolism, approximately 0.17 of the absorbed dose is metabolized. Metabolism uh, take place predominantly in uh, the form of oxidation to produce uh, difluoromethanol uh, and trifluoroacetic acid. Respiratory system. Let's discuss by system. In common with other modern volatile agents, uh, it causes dose dependent to uh, depression of ventilation. There is decrease uh, <clears throat> in tidal volume and an increase in ventilatory rate in the absence of opioid drugs. So isoflurane causes some respiratory irritation. This makes uh, inhalational induction with isoflurane difficult or not desired by uh, anesthesiologists. Cardiovascular system. Systemic uh, hypotension occurs pre predominantly as a result of reduction in systemic vascular resistance. Arrhythmias are uncommon. But in addition to dilating systemic arterioles, isoflurane causes coronary vasodilatation. And it has been shown that isoflurane affects small arterioles, which make coronary steel syndrome uh, uh, theoretically possible. Coronary steel syndrome is predominantly in uh, patients which have already a some defects in the arterioles. For example, if this zone is normal, 
this one is normal and this one is affected affected or does not change diameter through the different periods so if you are giving uh, isoflurane and dilating as a dilating effect this portion will dilate a little bit more but this one will still remain uh, constricted or at the same diameter and uh, increase increase uh, ischemia how about uterus how about uterus uh, has an effect similar to in a, on, on, on the pregnant uterus similar to that of halasan so relaxation let's move on central nervous system a low concentration of isoflurane does not cause any change in cerebral uh, vasodilatation at uh, normocapnia but higher concentration or higher inspired concentration uh, could cause uh, vasodilatation and increased cerebral blood flow so doesn't cause any seizure activity on the electroencephalogram it is also important on on the relaxation of the muscle causes dose dependent depression of neuromuscular transmission with uh, potentiation of uh, non depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents in summary the advantages uh, of isoflurane rapid recovery minimal blood transformation with little risk of hepatic or renal toxicity a low rate of meta uh, metabolites very low risk of arrhythmias produce also or potentiate muscle relaxation disadvantages its uh, disadvantage is a pungent odor which make uh, makes inhalational induction relatively unpleasant particularly in children which can uh, uh, panic or uh, make uh, a strange behavior during uh, the induction Hope this video is useful. Is if yes, you can follow me and even subscribe. Have a great time, guys.